Good evening, Noah. How are you? No way. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, hear me, teacher. A little bit. One more time. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Ready to start the week. We have to be careful. This is the last week. We have four classes. So we have to try to do our best. Yes? Okay. Thank you, teacher, for uh, giving me the opportunity to, to learn English and practice, and practice with my partner in the class. Hey, I'm good. I'm happy. This is the objective for you to practice and improve. It's very interesting. Um, to learning, uh, with practices, uh, learning new vocabulary. Okay. Yes. Very nice. And Noe, tell me, what did you do this weekend? And this weekend, uh, last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Uh, um. In my case, I go with my I I went with my okay. family uh visit my uh, uh family your family is my how do you I visit family on my way in uh Santepeque mm -hmm. because uh why uh, the brother my wife uh, born uh, a child born born a child uh -huh. a girl a girl in the uh, uh, okay is mm -hmm. is your is your wife's family or your family no uh, family my wife okay, okay. Uh -huh. it is my family too uh -huh. no not really but yes <laughs> it's, the, it's the other family right yes yes, yes. family uh -huh. number two yeah okay for okay. uh, uh, a, a gear okay that's great that's excellent okay thank you teacher good all right so the first thing that we're going to do is like Noe and me, we're going to take a quick moment and we're going to discuss with your partner, hey, what did you do? Where did you go? Why? A little bit of information about your weekend, okay? So let's take a few moments. Very nice with our partners. What did we do this weekend? Just a few moments and then we come back.
Uh-huh. Jaime Jefferson. I see you're very quiet. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. How was your weekend? I'm seeing that good. Very, very well. Okay. Why? What, what about you? you? Very nice. What did you do this weekend? I just went to my just to went to my my job mm -hmm. and I had to do a lot of uh, homework of my university and but I tried to to rest a little a little bit because I was very tired and that's why I tried to watch series and movies on Netflix and play video games. Uh, and only only that mm, okay uh, what series did you try to watch on netflix my brother has suggested me a series called jujutsu kaisen because on this i think that on this month on the last month uh, there uh, was launched a new season and I was trying to to watch that series, but I don't, I couldn't do it because I don't have enough time. Okay, too much work from the university, right? Yes, and in my in my job too. Okay, okay. And Jaime, how about you? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pues, my weekend was very busy. I had I had to work too late, late on Saturday. So I'm only rested on Sunday. Okay. On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Only, only rested on Sunday. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult, right? Okay, good. Today, we're going to begin our last unit. This is unit number five. Remember, we only have four days this week. Today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday, we're going to have completed the platform and the final exam. Today, let's look at the introduction for this unit number five. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? 
Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? Okay, so as we can see, we have quite a bit of the video already. We're going to take a moment with our partners and we're going to discuss what do they recommend? What is the question they're asking? And what are the people saying? Okay. So one more time, what is happening in the video? What are they talking about? What are the recommendations? And what are the complaints or things that people say? Okay. Okay, tell me, what are they talking about? What are some of the suggestions that they give? Mm -hmm. I don't listen to anyone. What happened? And the city, the mantra, kind of, ah, it's just popular they used used to bicycle from ten for ten. The people uh use this bicycle and 
the center of the downtown. Mm -hmm. um, a, a journals, uh, a journals uh, ask questions at different people about the what is the uh, safet, uh, safety, the the use a uh, bicyclists in from the bus or what is your opinion about the this cycle? Okay, good. So the journalist is asking a lot of people if they agree or disagree and recommendations and what to do if you are writing and you are correct, Noe. 10% of the people uh, ride bicycles. Yes, Aleli. Uh, teacher, um, I understand and uh, there is not much control with people who use say bicycles. Uh, the, uh, the maker on the traffic, more traffic. I know respect um, the loud traffic. Um, yeah, the pre um oh well, um, percent um the people uh, they prefer the bicycle and drive uh, the car. Okay, so Aleli, I confused with your last sentence. Uh, the people prefer bicycle and drive the car. Yes, the prefers and the um. Yes, I drive. I drive. I'm not a bicycles. Okay, they prefer right. They they prefer drive the car. Yes. Okay. Uh, they, um, había una mujer que dijo que prefería manejar que la mm -hmm. bicicleta. Okay, so the woman prefers. Okay, good. Let's watch the rest of the interview and see what they discover. I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're gonna do that I think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception. And we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay, so what do you think about in the last part of the video? And even pedestrians should relax a bit right. about how they ought to interact. Montreal is Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Look. Mm. It's like the motorcycles in El Salvador, or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, very similar. And it's the same danger, right? Because the people, ah, there is traffic. Doo -doo -doo. They go in the middle, they don't care. So not only the people don't respect sometimes the law or in other countries as well. In the city, the Montreal, uh, the journal have question about the rule, rule, rule the child for a uh, bicycle. 
because it's in the world country. Correct, because in some countries it's not permitted, but there mm -hmm. they can drive or they can ride their motorcycle with the child. In other countries, it's not permitted because it's too dangerous for the child. Okay, good. Well, today we're going to be learning a lot of the vocabulary that we saw in the video. Here, a lady, can you please read the instructions? In this lesson, participants and um, participants will learn to give recommendations and opinions uh, without to show how got to and must. All right, so we're gonna learn a lot about different models and how to use them and what is the correct ones. Here is for giving opinions and recommendations. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay. So, as we can see, the most All important the time. is the different models that we're going to use. We can use all of these, but when you give your opinion, it's normally going to be should, shouldn't, or ought to. These are the nominals, the ones that we use for opinion. Now, when something is an obligation or necessary, we normally use must, mustn't, or we can use has to be, has got to be, okay? Has and the verb in the past participle. Today, we're gonna to practice a little bit about the models and what is a good idea or a bad idea, okay? So we're gonna make our partners how can we improve El Salvador? Okay. What is opinion and what should be recommendation? Okay. As an example, to improve El Salvador, you we must have less traffic. And we need, we have to eliminate the buses that contaminate and have new buses, maybe electric buses, something like this. Okay. So with your partner, you're going to discuss. What are some of your opinions or recommendations, okay, to improve for El Salvador? Are we ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Excellent. Let's go for it. Okay.
Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of TA questions for opinions. Health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so, too. But they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate. And now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. be careful with this when they are uh, going to street motorcycle a lot of traffic every day do you and drive motorcycle no really i drive ah. my car but mm -hmm. uh, the, the problem is with the the motorcycle a lot of motorcycles but the problem is the they have a license they have a license they haven't they don't they have experience to drive the motorcycle for that mm -hmm. reason, the BMT, BMT, uh, mm, 
must must be uh, to control to to the license with this this problem because mm -hmm. the fifth. 50% don't have license. Uh, communication with a uh, staff of the transport station. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's very complicated. I I know I made a, a person who works uh, the similar like you. Yeah, yes. It's Okay, good. I heard most groups were speaking and talking. Some groups very quiet, nobody speaking. But the idea is try to come up with what can be done using models to improve in Salvador. Now we're going to practice using the models that we have. This is 5.2. Knowledge check 5.2. And we're going to be looking at the different ways. So here, Morena, can you please read the example? Okay, teacher. People do use cell phones while driving. And then we have the word allow. Allow. Mm -hmm. Correct. So what are we going to use? We're going to complete the sentence positive or negatively according to what we have. So here we have three different forms to complete it. Santiago, can you please read the three different forms? Yes, teacher. Uh, the first one should be, shouldn't be allowed. The next one should not be allowed. And the last one should be allowed. So what do you think? People should be allowed to use their cell phones while driving? Or should not be allowed? Shouldn't be allowed. Okay. That's it. That's the idea of using these models. They are to express opinions, recommendations, or obligations. So we have eight sentences. With your partners, you're going to complete. Remember, use positive or negative. Okay. With the different models. That's the important. No capital letters or periods only the verb in parentheses and the correct form, like the examples that are there. It's okay? Okay, yeah, remember 5.2, 5.2 in the platform. Let's try. Luis, you okay? Number one. People to use cell phones while driving. Driving. But um should be alone. Should be alone. Should be alone. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the second. It's negative. Right? Young, young people to get married before age 16 point. Perm, perm, permit, permit, Elvis. How do you pronounce permit? Permit. 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 Yeah. The, the answer is must, must not be permitted. Permit. Permitted. permitted. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Permitted. Oh, be permitted. Permitted. 
Elvis. Must Sir. not be permitted. Yeah. Should be required to give workers periodic breaks. Okay. And Ada? And Ada. Number four. Okay. Number four. What, in this moment, I open the, um, the platform. The platform? Con yeah, conti continue, please. Yeah, let okay. me see. Okay, number mm. four. People should be allowed to have cats in high-rise apartments. Number five, Raquel. Number five. Scientists should be permitted to use periodic breaks. Number three, should be required. That's good. Should be required to give worker, workers a period of breaks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number four, people shouldn't be alone. Number, num, number three, number is correct. Three, is correct for me. Should should be recreate How can should I be. Should be. share the, mm -hmm. the should be. okay? Uh, falta B. Mm -hmm. Should, should be, be required. Okay. Number four should should not be allowed. Number four, vamos. You a can ver. see the the answer. Uh, is is other other exercise? Yes, is other exercise. Is other. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, five that. Ay, de veras. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues no, no, no dije nada. Pensé que era loca. No probably. Eh, no probably. Como dijo. Number, Number six. six. Number six. Six. Yes. Loud. Loud. To ban okay. the sale. Uh, loud of... to ban the sale of handguns. 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 The answer must be pasted. Yes. Must be. Face. Turn face. Jaime is correct. Bus must be pace. Yes, number yeah. six. Okay. <laughs> number be seven. Pace. Yes. Permit. Okay, yeah, number eight, and Aida. Number eight, let me see, is uh, something should not be done to stop clubs from staying open so late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's correct. Teacher? Did you check him? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, any vocabulary, any words? Permit en pasado es permitted. No. Correct. Permit en no, pasado yes, is permitted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look. We have a lot of different answers we can use. Remember, we can use positive or negative, depending on our point of view. For example, here, should be allowed or shouldn't be allowed are correct or in the long form, okay? Let's take a moment and read and see that we have correct. Santiago, number two, Jefferson, number three, Elvis number four, Laura number five, Luis number six, and Raquel number seven. Okay. Okay, okay number two. 
young people must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Correct. Here is not logical, the positive. It's not logical that it's obligation to get married uh -huh, before 15, right? Good. Number three. Okay, number three. Companies should be required to give workers periodic breaks. Okay, good. It's like a recommendation. Mm -hmm. The next. Number four. People. Pe oh. Go ahead. People should not be allowed to have pets in high rise apartments. Okay. It's your opinion. If you like animals, sure. If you don't like animals, shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Good. Number five. Me. Science must not be permitted to use animals for research. Okay, good. Here, only permit. That's it. Scientists permit the use of animals for research. We can use should be permitted, uh, have got to be permitted, must not permit it, a lot. Of, in this one, we have a lot of options. As long as you use one of them correct, it's okay. Number six. Uh, laws uh, must not be passed to ban the sale of handguns. Okay. If you believe, yes, we is necessary have guns, must not. If you believe, no, it's not necessary have guns, is must. So positive or negative, both answers are good. Number seven. The sale of four products should be permitted. Okay. This is your opinion. Remember, like the people with the coats, the animals, this is the idea for the what the sale of fur products. And the last one, Morena, number eight. Eight should be done or must be done, should be done or should not be done. Okay, and read the sentence, Morena. What did you decide? Uh, some, some, some time. Uh, mm, mm. a uh, should be done mm, to right there. no problem so, don't worry. here we have uh -huh. something uh -huh. should be done to stop so, clubs from staying open uh -huh. so late uh -huh. it's okay. only your opinion or recommendation okay so remember the important is when we use should is opinion when we use had better or must is obligation. These are going to be the differences. Let's take a look at the exercise that we're going to complete next. Here, we're going to learn a little bit about tag questions. Tag questions are the questions at the end, okay? I say, Laura, do you like lasagna? Don't you? Don't you is the tag question. I use only confirm information, not like ask questions. It's only to, I think, and this is my opinion. I think it's the correct one. Okay, so here we can see, we're gonna practice tag questions. Let's watch a small video first. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tag questions for opinions. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, Almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? 
Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Hmm. Wow, a lot of things happen. What I'm going to do after I graduate. Let's take a look at that. What happened in part two of the listening? What happened? No, not clear. He don't like that. Liar. Lawyer. Lo lo a lawyer, he, a lawyer. He wants to go to Mexico to open the coffee shop. Exactly. Imagine he's going to graduate as a lawyer, but he says, nah, I don't want to practice. I'm going to go to Mexico and make coffee. Oof. The dad must be very, very upset and angry. Okay. Good. So now we're going to practice those ideas for must, should, ought to, can, and could. As an example, okay, for your job or your profession, okay, what should I do in your job? You're telling the people, what should they do in your job? Well, in my job, uh, you should motivate people to speak English and you have to have a good level of English. This is very important as well because you must be able to use technology and computer and English skills in order to get a good job. So what is to be good in your company, good in your job? What are some of the things that we must do, we should do, we have to do, or we need to do the different models, okay? Okay. It's clear? Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's try it one more time. Here we go. needing the company for uh, my girl you uh, product for example you think you should or you need to improve the product or service mm -hmm. services and but okay. uh, the, the teacher say that um how oh, the English opinion, thing. recommendation, mm -hmm. whatever but, thing in your job, in my job, in our job. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Dami? 
Well, so. recommendation uh, used to shoot them most. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, for example, in my job, uh, the first recommendation, and um, this company must must pay the overtime. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, a lot of money. The companies. For you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Que nos por hora, I see. <laughs> study and um, future, uh, but because because in the future I need I need the skill is necessary for me. But 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 design uh, <clears throat> but design. Uh, my my project, for example. Ya la voy a mandar. Ex, el último creo que es executive producers. Um, hi, hi teacher. Uh, <laughs> recommendation and opinions. Estamos. En eso estamos, teacher. <laughs> and recommendation oh. for your offices. Mm -hmm. the, Morena. Recommendation is how do you say mejorar, teacher? Improve. Ah, okay. Eh, improve, <laughs> yes. <laughs> improve the cafeteria in, in my office because it's very important, yes. Mm -hmm, because uh, um, it needs uh, more clean. More yeah, and, and the food and the food. Uh -huh. food uh, should be uh, more more health. Uh, for example, okay. baseball um, fruit, salad, uh, mm -hmm. so so more. No. Uh, for example, the last month. Uh, I participate in a in a in a sense and and I want uh, the opportunity for and promotion promotion I, I I I participate in a promotion and I want the opportunity and in in the last week I start with a new job. Ah, okay. in a new area and so they have many opportunities mm -hmm. to grow up they give you a lot of opportunities huh uh, sorry what you have good opportunities yes uh, for example uh, with this ex new experience if I want is uh, working with other I, airlines I can because I know uh, everything about the politics from the countries uh, the programs uh, from make reservations everything I know everything they and it's a good opportunity okay great yeah. okay Okay, so that's the idea of the models. When you're talking about opinions or different, for example, I am new in the company or you are responsible for the training or whatever reason, that's how we use the models, right? Oh, you should, you should uh, create a schedule. You have to speak to your manager every day. You must, these are the ideas that we're going to have when we're talking about maintaining our jobs, okay? Right now, we're going to go to our little bit more. We have our final objective for today. Here. Santiago, can you please read? Yes, teacher. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn about tag creation for opinion. Okay, good. So here is for opinions. What is the difference? Opinion means I think, but I don't know. 
I think. So one person stay watching or doing different things to see if it works. But right now we're gonna look at tag questions is we agree or not. So for example, Jefferson, you are married, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. So that's the idea. The tag questions are just the endings and we're gonna try to practice it. One moment, let me share my screen with you so we can watch together. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? So now if we listen, at the end of all of the questions, we have an auxiliary. The auxiliary depend on the sentence. If the sentence is positive, the auxiliary is negative. But if the sentence is negative, child care isn't cheap, then the tag is positive. This is only used to agree with someone, not for something else, only if it agrees or doesn't agree with someone. It's okay, the idea of tag questions? Teacher? Teacher? Yes? In yes. In okay, uh, to use two comma, two out there, the, the, como le digo, antes de afirmar si o no hay una coma en todas las oraciones. Ajá, so always the tag, always the tag is comma and then the tag. Okay. Okay, always, always, always. But tomorrow okay. we're going to have the opportunity to practice and try our own tags and as well as the other activities. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. Okay, bye bye. 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 Bye.